I'd like to show you a few different tools, free tools that you guys can use to edit an EPUB or different types of files that you guys create for eBooks coming out of InDesign. Okay, so let's suppose you guys are in InDesign and you create the correct book or whatever you want to create. Of course, there's several ways to be able to export that. We can go to export for EPUB to export an individual document. If you create a book, which is a bunch of InDesign documents put together, which is what I tend to do for my uh, diff different uh, eBooks or EPUB books, you can then go out here and say, let's export the entire thing to EPUB. Once you save it, this is where I thought I was done. <laughs> I saved it, I got the EPUB out the other end, but when I opened it, I found out that there was just a, a bunch of different issues with how it looked and styling and all that sort of thing. So what we can do is we can take this EPUB file and you know, there's 50 ways you can do this. One way you can trick it is to actually put the .zip extension on here and treat it as a zip and open it that way, but I don't actually like to do that. So I'm gonna leave it alone. If you guys go to programs like Caliber or Sigil, I don't even know how to say that program. I've been using it for months. Uh, if I go to Calibre, Calibre is one of my favorites. It's free. You can download it. You can open up. If you guys look right up here, you're going to see that we've got the add books too. I can add the book to it. It'll take a second. It's actually going to put it in here, even if you move the book, which is kind of neat. Then we could either preview it, see what's going on with it, or one of my favorite parts here is we can tweak it. If you want to edit it using Calibre, you can either hit T for tweak or right click, control click, and tweak the EPUB. If we do that, it's gonna say, all right, well, here's what you wanna do. And since an EPUB is basically just a, I, don't know, I guess you could say a zipped file with a bunch of other files inside of it, it's gonna temporarily unzip it, let you look at it, open the files in a program, let's say like Dreamweaver or some other editing program, edit them, zip it back up, and you've got your book. So I'll click Explode EPUB, It'll go out and it'll put it in a temporary location. And you can see that there's a folder out here. If I look in there, I'll see that I've got my fonts, my images, styling, and my text. The text, you guys, it's just a bunch of HTML pages. Okay, so if we wanna edit one of these, I can open these up in just about any editing program that does, you know, uh, like Dreamweaver, kind of like web editing. If I double click, I'll take a look here. I'll see the page. I could go through and edit the HTML, I could edit the CSS, et cetera. When I go through and make a change, and I save this, let's say, I go back over to Calibre, I rebuild the EPUB, and there it is. I can then take that right from here and test it on an iPad or you know, send it to the bookstore, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of things I can do. Once that file is created, you guys can take that and, like I said, put it just about anywhere you need to go. Now, another program that I love is called Sigil. And if you come in, you can actually open the file. And right up here, I've got a little, you know, file open. I'll go find that EPUB. There it is right there. Open it up. You don't need to use either, uh, both of these programs. You don't have to, you guys. One would suffice. But I'll show you why you might want to use this program. This program opens it up and explodes it right away, meaning it unzips it right away so you can see all the different files. It also categorizes it a little differently. It puts things in a little different folder structure. And if you click on one of these, pic, uh, excuse me, one of these uh, HTML files here to select it, you can double click on it. It'll open it up. It'll take a second here. I could then go in and view the source code. You'll see there's a little button right up here that says source code or code view rather. I can then go in and edit. I can say, you know, blah, 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 do my editing there. I could save this back up and I've got my book. Now, another great feature of this Sigil is the fact that it validates. There's a little check mark right up here, which is validate EPUB, and it will go through, check it out according to, you know, pretty much the, the standards of the day for EPUB and see if there's any problems found. Now, I don't just test it in here. I test it online and a bunch of other places, but these are two great tools you guys can use to edit EPUB files.